Wild Wednesday, so we are up at Mill Mountain Zoo. Christine is introducing us to Nova, the red panda. So tell us a little bit about red pandas. Well, Nova herself um, uh, was born at Padawatami Zoo. Um, she came here when she was about a year old, and she's 10 now, so she's lived here for pretty much most of her life. Yes. Um, that's really old for a red panda in the wild. They'd live to about seven to nine, but in human care, they can live up to about 20, so she's not all that old. No, wow, and she, Tell us a little bit about her like personality. Uh, she's very calm. Um, pandas in general aren't very aggressive. They are a prey species, um, so they don't tend to be aggressive. And Nova is one of the most particularly uh, gentle pandas I've ever met. Okay, so tell us about their habitat. Uh, well, they live in Central Asia in the Himalayan areas, and they will live in forested areas, particularly with bamboo forests. Okay. Um, this is because they eat primarily bamboo. About 90% of their diet is bamboo. 90? Yep, and they can eat up to about 200,000 leaves of bamboo per day in the wild. Oh. And we don't have that much bamboo here, so they do get um, what's called a leaf eater biscuit, and that just okay. gives her all that fiber she needs to keep her digestive system in track. Um, they are um, omnivores, so they do, will eat insects, maybe uh, small rodents, um, other plants, stuff like that, um, but they do primarily eat the bamboo. Here she also gets a little bit of fruit and veggies. Uh, she really likes her apples and her grapes. Okay, me too. Me too, <laughs> Nova. And then there's something about, she has thumbs? They're actually false thumbs. Okay. Um, so not a real thumb, it's a protrusion of the wrist bone. And this helps them pull in the bamboo or pull in other food um, so right. that they can eat it. Um, this is primarily why scientists thought that they were closely related to giant pandas. Um, because giant pandas okay. also have a false thumb. Uh, but now we know, as science has gotten better, um, that they are actually not closely related to giant pandas. They're not actually even bears. Oh. <laughs> uh, their closest relatives are raccoon. And if you look at the red panda, you can kind of tell how they're uh, a little bit raccoonish. Totally. Um, you know, got those stripes on the tail. Um, another cool thing about red pandas is that they are arboreal. This means that they spend most of their time in the trees. And so uh, if you look at a red panda, they are dark on the underside and they're reddish on the top side. So if a predator is looking up into the trees, they'll just see that dark silhouette just looks there. Like tree. Mm -hmm. okay. And the trees in the areas that they live have a lot of uh, reddish, brownish lichen and moss, so it helps them blend right in. Okay, and then are they endangered, is that right? They are unfortunately okay. endangered, uh, which does mean their populations are in decline um, and they do need um, help from mm -hmm. um, humans to be able to increase their numbers again. Okay. This is primarily due to habitat loss, um, particularly with logging. Um, so there's also fragmentation. Um, these are uh, solitary animals, so in um, breeding season they have to find each other. So if they don't have those corridors, they're not able to find each other and reproduce. And then with having to eat so much bamboo, if their bamboo source is taken away, then they don't have enough to eat. Right. Um, something that you can do is check and see if you're using um, sustainable paper resources, sustainable okay. wood resources. Um, and that way it cuts down on logging, which affects a lot of areas. Well, great. So if you want to meet Nova for yourself, come check out the Red Panda. Come up to Mill Mountain Zoo. You guys are open all summer, right? Yes, we are. All right, thank you. Thank you.